What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, I'd say thank you for watching and welcome to my channel. Now, I don't know if this is gonna go on YouTube or the new IGTV. I have no idea. We'll see. But I definitely needed to record this video for you guys. Um, and oh, it's the one and only ColourPop No Filter Foundation. Try on, review, my thoughts. Let's talk about this, guys. Um, so first off the bat, I have to say, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'm pretty sure you're going to want to hit that subscribe button. And um, yeah, so first off, I want to say that I'm not in the ColourPop um, peer list. So I don't need to kiss booty <laughs> to anybody. So I'm going to be very raw and very honest with you guys when it comes to reviews. I don't need, I don't know it to anybody. It's not a sponsor video. I bought it with my own moolah. It came out of my bank account. So I am going to be telling you guys straight up exactly. I have an audience. <laughs> exactly what I think about this foundation. So if you guys want to see a beauty blogger, a raw, honest, 100 opinion about the new ColourPop foundation, then let's go ahead and keep on watching. All right guys, so let's get right to the video and let's really talk about this foundation. So everyone was obsessed with the foundation when it came out. Everyone is like, oh my God, ColourPop's foundation, this is gonna be amazing, they're gonna take it out of the park, it's gonna be great, and blah, blah, blah. So I had to buy it for myself and I had to see it for myself. So I'm going to read to you guys exactly what it claims to do, this foundation, exactly what it says on ColourPop Cosmetics um, uh, website. So let's dive in. It says it's a no filter matte foundation. So right off the bat, this foundation is gonna be great for um, oily skin. This is supposed to, what it's supposed to do. Um, it says it's our full coverage natural matte foundation. It delivers flawless looking skin from day to night. It's oil free, it's lightweight, and the formula blends smoothly and easily customizable to create the coverage you want. So it claims to be full coverage, but then over here it says that it can easily be customizable to create the coverage you want. So either, what if I want medium cut, medium cut, full medium coverage? Does it make sense? Because you're telling me the foundation is full coverage. So, anyways, we'll get to that in a minute. Build it up or share it out. You just said it's a full coverage foundation. Okay. Um, it was innovated, developed with innovative soft blur pigment to deliver true color while looking and feeling natural. So it has a lovable pump, gloss, and that's to be honest. Um, and it keeps, you know, it helps you. Uh, of course, it's always 100 percent cruelty free and vegan. So yeah, I think it has 40 available shades. I'm not sure. I know there's a lot. I think there's like 40 shades. And the cool thing, another plus, is that it's only 12 dollars. So that is amazing to be able to find what the foundation claims it does for $12 that is not gonna break your bank, I think it's pretty cool. So, I bought two colors because this thing about picking your colors online, I just hate it. It's a pain in my booty. I don't think it's, I don't think it's fair, honestly speaking. Um, but it is what it is. ColourPop does not have like stores everywhere, but I feel like when it comes to shadows, I'm sorry, when it comes to uh, concealers and when it comes to foundation, to have to pick your color out of what you're seeing on screen is not fair. And they send the whole range of colors to beauty bloggers. So of course you have to ch ch chase to shoot from, but us over here, the little people, we have to actually kind of guess our shades. So I always, 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 when people ask me, for instance, how can I sh um, choose my shade? To pick at least two colors. To pick the one you think it is and go I'll either go up if you find yourself tanning a little bit more than usual or go a little bit down if you find yourself that you are at a moment in life where you're tanned and you know that you're going to go back to your natural um, habitat or your natural color. So I picked two. I went with light 70 and I went with medium 80. So I kind of went between I'm tan, I'm tan and I'm not tan. So that's what I did in this um, scenario. 
even though you go into supposedly if they have a list of people of I think it's the um, either this I think it's Estee Lauder or I think it's Mac I'm not sure but I think they have a list that they are comparing the colors to so most people most people already color match to MAC. I'm not. I've never been color matched to MAC, so I wouldn't know if I'm an NC30, if I'm an WNW, if I'm a AAA, or whatever it is that MAC has their coats. So that for me right there is a zero having to choose uh, foundation shade off the internet. It's not, it's not a good thing for anybody, to be honest. All right, so this is the little bottles. This is what they look like. I think they're, I think they're pretty uh, good sizes for twelve dollars, honestly. Um, so here is a CoverGirl foundation from the drugstore. This one ranges for nine ninety nine at Walmart. This one ranges for twelve dollars at ColourPop. For this one's thirty ml. This one's twenty five ml. So this is a little bit smaller than a regular uh, from drugstore foundation. Uh, but still, it's a good amount of product, and definitely the fact that it has a pump is a plus on my on my list, to be honest. I'm going to go with medium 80, and what I'm going to do is, on one side of the face, I'm going to buff it with a foundation brush, and then the other side, I'm going to do a damp beauty blender, just to get the taste of both, because some people prefer using foundations with beauty blender, and some people use um, with foundation brush. So I'm going to try both and see what I think about the application process. So we're going to go ahead and test it out. I already prepped my face using my moisturizer. I'm going to finish off using this. All right, so skin to prep. I'm going to go right off the pump. I'm going to show you the consistency of it. So one pump. This is what I noticed yesterday when I was trying it out. I'm going to show you the matte foundation from CoverGirl. Let's just, let's just see. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a pump to the face and I'm going to do one side, like I said, with a beauty blender and then the other one with the brush. So I'm doing two pumps. On one side of the face right now. Ah, I got foundation all over me. So let's do this side with the beauty blender, with a damp beauty blender. I think I did good matching my color. I think I'm already like so used to my tanning colors. So, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you my thoughts on it. It's not covering everything. I can still see my tiny imperfections kind of like popping through. I can still see a couple of my imperfections coming through the camera probably um, is blurring out some effects, but it's definitely showing some of my imperfections. I don't, right off the bat, it does not give me the vibe that it's a full coverage foundation. I've had and I've used in the past full coverage foundation. The Huda Beauty is one of the ones that I say that it's full coverage. I apply one coat of it with my beauty blender and flawless skin. So this right now, right here, right now with the beauty blender, Definitely not giving me full coverage. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side and you have to work quickly when if you're doing this work quickly because It runs very fast Okay, so I did the same amount. I did two pumps To this side we're going to use a foundation brush Honestly speaking, the tools that you're going to use to apply this foundation is going to determine which coverage you will receive. 
this will definitely be this this the beauty blender would definitely be a more buildable coverage more of a medium full coverage foundation coverage if you want straight up the bottle full coverage makeup i recommend using a foundation brush it's definitely 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 covered more than this side still i can still see some of my imperfections um coming through not too much like this side but definitely with the uh, brush it's giving me a little bit more coverage than it did with the beauty blender i'm guessing because the beauty blender kind of probably would have soaked up the product i have no idea why so what i'm going to do is i'm going to finish off my face even it out with the foundation brush and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to move on to completing my face my makeup and adding everything and then i'll let you know how everything feels and throughout the day all right guys so this is the completed look this is the finished look um that i went for all right let's talk a little bit more about the foundation so i did set my under eyes i did um kind of baked my face um other than that i just didn't touch anything I mean, I did bake, so pretty much I did set my face, so. <laughs> okay, so honestly speaking, um, I like how it looks on my skin. I feel like that medium 70 looked a little bit darker, but once I applied it on my face, it kind of looked lighter than the bottle. So um, I would recommend going one shade up. Like, let's say you found your shade, and then you're like, okay, so I'm this shade. If you're not 100% sure, I recommend you going one shade a little bit darker because it is a little bit lighter. I think I'm going to have to return the light 70 because it's going to be way, way, way too light for me. So I feel like um, you find a color, make sure you kind of go one shade darker because that's what happened to me right now. Um, I tried to make it work with the bronzer because it was kind of looking too pale for me. It wasn't looking true to its color. But other than that, I love how it looks on my skin. I love how it looks. It looks very even. It looks beautiful. It has a beautiful finish. Um, again, I feel like it's not full coverage right off the, the bat, right off when you put it on. It's definitely a buildable coverage. Um, it's, it says that it's, I think I did read somewhere that it lasts 12 hours. I'm not sure. But let's see how it holds up during the day. And um, uh, it says that it's a no filter foundation, meaning like you don't have to go into Snapchat and kind of do a makeup and kind of put a filter on. So that's pretty cool. Um, again, like I said, if you are a type of person that you want to hide most of your imperfections, I definitely recommend um, building the coverage up maybe um, two or three times the foundation using a foundation brush. And it's definitely very lightweight, guys. I definitely do not feel cakey and don't feel heavy. And I did apply a couple of drops onto my face because I wanted to achieve that full coverage look. So honestly speaking, right off the bat, it is a beautiful um, finished foundation. Um, it does not look for me like it is a full coverage for $12 I think it's great do you have to have it because it's the best drugstore foundation out there no it's not giving me something that I cannot find at a drugstore foundation honestly speaking guys it's not way over the top it does not have an in like a, an invention that has not yet found been found at any drugstore foundation honestly speaking so should you go out there and have to buy it i feel like you're probably been more pushed to buy it because of what you're seeing on social media um i like i said i feel like you can definitely find a more full coverage foundation off the of the drugstore honestly speaking like i said the i've been loving the covergirl true matte foundation and it's just amazing full coverage foundation and it's a beautiful finish so my thoughts on it it's a pretty good foundation it's definitely buildable um i'm gonna see how it lasts during the day and give you guys an update on it it feels very lightweight but it's not some, i don't feel like it's something you have to buy it because there is no other drugstore foundation out there that can deliver what this foundation is delivering no that is not the case um like i said if you like medium buildable coverage you want something lightweight um i think it's pretty cool like to travel with it i feel like it's 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 a good size to travel with it i have other drugstore foundations who are by far amazing so these are my thoughts guys honestly it is a good foundation 
it has a very light weight. It's not over the top. It's not something that I have to tell you, oh my God, you need to buy it. Go out there and get yourself ColourPop No Filter Foundation because honestly, um, it doesn't have anything out of this world. This is my opinion, my own. This is what I think of it. But anyways, guys, I really wanted to make this video for you guys. You guys were asking me to do it. Like I said, I have nothing to lose. Um, when I'm giving you 100% honest opinion, you're gonna go and spend your money and you guys take my word for it So this is what I have to say to you guys. So if you guys like the video and you guys want to see more videos of um, Try-ons uh, first impressions and all that let me know I am more than happy to do it for you If you like the video don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel Make sure you hit the subscribe button and be part of my beautiful girlfriend squad here on YouTube Thank you guys so much for your love. Thank you guys for your support. Muchas gracias. I'll see you ladies on my following video. Adios